Hello, everyone, and welcome to the TBL, the Team Battling League Finals. Your coaches right here of the Wash U Bear Ticks have earned our spot in this of this league. And my it is my duty, it is my pleasure, it is my joy to also be joined by the Token Minority's very own Jolt, who is my co-captain of this wonderful squad that has made it all the way here what's Would going like on guys that? yeah yeah man i'm so excited for this game the finals are finally here and we're facing off against chuckle king and six foot hex who we happen to play in week one of this league as well so the season's really coming full circle for us here which it's always kind of cool to see that be the the end result of the season and hopefully this time around we're able to pull off a better result than we were in our first matchup against them is in the first matchup we really struggled with the timer especially and we both feel like we're much more adept at handling that now so hopefully that won't be nearly as much of a factor this time around plus the team that we've constructed we think is much more capable than the team that we brought in the first matchup against them too so i don't know about you but i'm feeling pretty confident about this one uh yeah i'm gonna go to go ahead and get this one started up so you can go ahead and talk to the people yeah, if you guys have missed anything this entire season, all of our videos are up on the Token Minorities channel. And uh, you've got team builders, you've got battles, you've got our opponents' links in every single description. So definitely check out everybody who has participated in this league throughout the entire season. But of course, the most important thing is if you don't know what sets we're bringing for this battle specifically, then you should absolutely go check out that team builder because you will get a very in-depth explanation of why we are bringing what we are bringing and how we expect it to work in this matchup and which mons we think they'll bring and which mons we think they'll leave back it's a very detailed description every single week but especially this one because obviously this is the finals and as much as jolt and i were having fun with this league uh you get to, you don't get that many chances at finals this is both of our first chance at a finals championship win in season in generation eight so i think both of us took this a little bit more seriously we both you know, we're both very competitive and we both would love to walk home with a trophy, a mental trophy, no physical trophy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if you guys haven't, also make sure you do check out our opponents. All their battles are up. You should check out the way they got to finals. Obviously, they have clearly earned their way here. Their team is absolutely terrifying. They are the number two seed from the entire season. Um, they did beat us last time. We took down the one seed in the semifinals. And now in order to complete our route, back we have to take down the two seed as well but if we can do that and get all of these wins against teams that beat us in the regular season we feel so satisfying to to finish this out this way and i really really hope that we are able to pull out the victory here currently we're seeing if we can connect with our opponents we might have to pause the video briefly here to see if we can get this figured out Did he also do 152? Why? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this should not be so complicated. No, I'm sorry for so all the hard? editing you have to do. Oh, there that we go. Okay, okay, and we're back. Okay. We're back. So we got this all squared away. Leo's really struggling tonight in, in many ways. This is actually the, the second or third or fourth time at this point that we've tried to get this battle actually started, and they brought entirely the wrong team as well. And the, the first one, which is a little bit suspicious, but, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to – we're not saying that they're cheating or anything. That just have, happens sometimes. But, um, yeah, we should be jumping into this here real soon if it'll show us the team preview. They did give us a heads up on what their actual six mons were, so – I mean, I guess technically we could talk about that a little bit, but here we go. Now it's here. So, All right. Gengar, Savali, Kabalion, Rotom, Dragapult, and Quagsire. So they did not bring the Arcanine, and they did not bring the Scrafty, both of which were the specially, specially defensive tanks of choice that they brought in the previous matchup. So uh, very interesting to not see those. Yeah, and I I, I think we were right in a, in team prep that that's probably Fairy Savali. I'm still standing by that. It's got to be. Uh, otherwise, Hydreigon just wins. I really like uh, Tarak in the late game as well here. Yeah, uh, we do have to kind of play the game of our stabs, though. Um, they do have two ghost types, so that's always going to be a little bit tricky to play around. 
Um, but the guard lead is still like super free. Moonblast is super free against their team. So, I mean, I, mean, I could see them leading probably Dragapult, Cabalion, or Rotom if they're really trying to get rocks up like from turn one. But uh, otherwise, I don't. I don't really see any others leading right now. It would surprise me. So, I mean, even if they lead Cabalion, we always have the play into Salazzle right away if we want, um, which would get us big damage off on something. It would get us. I mean, we can get a knockoff out against the. Quagsire in that case. They probably go Quag, so I'm good with that. You could, I mean, potentially go Seismitoad as well if you're predicting the Iron Head or the Volt Switch. That's and then get true. Um, that because might actually be better. That might actually be better for us. Um, I mean, Rotom is their removal or Silvali, but. Uh, I mean, if they set rocks, we want to force them to defog. Yeah, we don't have removal, so. Right. Undertaker, Undertaker, probably Cobalion? Oh, no, this thing again. Okay, oh, cool. Okay. I mean, this is exactly what, what we prepared for, so. Yeah. And we'll see its ability here, too. Probably Infiltrator, but. We actually don't. Oh, yeah, we get to see it. Cursed Body. Cursed Body. So that's probably fatter. Probably a fatter set. Yeah, so probably not Specs, so we can just either Moonblast or Toxic. I mean, it's either one's totally free. Uh, So, what's their switch? And I think Moonblast is probably our best play, then. Gengar's their only resist. Assuming Cabalion's yeah. type is, is I great. I think just Moonblast. I see no reason not to Moonblast here. I'm just gonna click it. They have to respect Scarf Guard. They have to respect Cassie Berry. And if they're not Specs, we take the hit anyway. So. Um, and since this thing was designed to handle Scrafty, hard and switch out. So we're actually bluffing Scarf, which is interesting. This should yeah. be a Cabalion switch in. Savali. So Savali, so what? That's not Berry. That might steal. That did a lot of damage. Deal. No, it's not. It was neutral. I think it's very. Oh, really? Just uh, click plus. Is it plus? Not plus. Uh, y. Info? Sorry. Yeah, and then click on the Zavali. Normal. Normal. Okay. okay. Good to know. So we are, like, really fat. We actually could stay in if we wanted to. Toxic this, maybe? I wouldn't mind toxicing this. They might sub, but... We can just move. If we want to keep them. bluffing Scarf, we can also just switch out. Nah, I think let's just talk about this. They may sub. Because it could be like a sub SD flame charge return. I mean, we're still really fat, though. Do we take a plus two? Uh, I guess not return, but... Multi-attack? We probably do, honestly. We're maxed as death, man. <laughs> this thing is only base 95 attack, right? Yeah, it's base 95 everything. Okay, just straight up multi-attack? It's not going to do much. Bandit, I think. Oh, crit, of course. That's not even offensive, I don't think. I wonder if we're in range of an Iron Head now, if they have that. It'd be kind of annoying. Uh, there it does 30 to 36. If they're... Wait, how much does that do? We're at 139? Yeah. I think in Pain Split is probably the play. 59%? Yeah, that's an uninvested multi-attack. I think they're grid, most so. likely to... Yeah, Pain Split's fine. Yeah, I mean, split, it, yeah. it'll get us health on anything. They'd probably switch out here, I would think. Multi attack maxes out at 138 <laughs> if they don't crit again, and yeah. they are zero attack, which is it's a questionable decision to make. But. I would see. I'm not sure what they switch into here, because I mean they could go Rotom, I guess. They should expect a wish. I would think they might just attack. I don't know, but we'll get help. Yeah, back. It really depends. I mean they might parting shot. I would uh, love to just get this thing really weakened though too. It's clearly def it's clearly bulky because if they weren't defensive, they would have taken a lot more damage from that. Yeah. Movement. Oh, that's gonna explode. Okay. So we're trading oh. guard for Savali. I mean, this guard was specifically designed to handle Arc Arc and, and Scrappy, which didn't come. So. Yeah, I mean that's that's okay. I'll I'll take that. Um, we don't get Trick Room now, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Interesting. So uh, we have options. The Dragapult could be a thing. Um, Salazzle covers everything besides Quag, and we can switch into Quag pretty easily. I'm fine with Salazzle here. Um, yeah, with Silvali normal too, which is interesting. So, yeah, I'm fine with I'm fine with uh, Sal uh, Salazzle. Yeah, because they, they weren't going to oh, go into yeah, yeah, perfect. That's kind of what I was expecting. They weren't going to go into their Dragapult again because that's too obvious. Yeah. So now, do we want to just go straight for the knockoff? If it's not bulky, we kill it with a fire blast. 
but I think Quag's coming in. Yeah, I think Quag always comes in. I'm just going to knock off. A little bit ballsy, but I don't think they stay in. Worst case scenario, they stay in and set rocks, and then we knock this off and remove its berry that it might have. We probably die if they attack us, though, because we're going to give it plus one. If they, well, does this thing get we're, power? We're really bulky. The best thing it can hit us with is, I believe, Zen Headbutt. Yeah, they're just going to Volt. Oh, they're, they're faster, so they're Scarf. That's really good information. Okay. That's nice. That means it's can SD. And they're going into Quag. There's no yeah, way they're not. No doubt. So getting rid of the leftovers there puts it. It's going to be in range of stuff like High Dragon, especially. It's in range of that, like guaranteed now. The question is, do we go into Toad on the probable Scald? Where we're really. I, I, don't I don't think they Scald. I don't think they Scald. I think Toxic is much more likely if they expect us to switch. So why would you Scald a Toad? Well, they're scalding is Salazzle. Yeah, but like Toad is the obvious switch in. That's pull. Oh, oh! <laughs> they were not expecting a knockoff there. Culver. Culver. Well, that's really nice for Hydreigon now. So plus one Hydreigon outspeeds this. Yeah. Oh no, a knockoff. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we should be in range of a Draco, which is a little unfortunate, but. But that means that Noctowl takes hits from this, like, really easily if it wanted to. We saw this had U-turn, correct? No, it hard switched. No, it we didn't do anything, so if you were worried about Scarf Guard. It, uh, we could go Noctowl. It's, Draco's not a 2KO. It could still be physical. That's true, but what do we go into on a physical one? I mean, I mean we don't really have anything. Like, Seismitoad would yeah. be the play, so... I mean, um, it's either, I assume it's either U-turn or Draco. I don't like I don't like that they can get into Rotom though if we switch into Noctowl right now. Cause then they just put us in a cycle, but I guess we kinda have to, huh? Alright, let's just go Noctowl, we'll see what happens. I mean I'm not sure what we have to go into this on it. like it, anything Toad or Noctowl both bring in the Rotom easily. Yeah, it's it's such a busted mod. But I don't think it has U turn, it didn't it didn't go for it. Unless it was they might have well, been. Well unless they were worried about Scar Scarf, Scarf which yeah. they definitely could have been. DD, okay. DD. That's what I was worried about. Okay. So we have Toad that can take a hit from it. Um, Do we sack Noctowl? Don't want to. I mean, we then they get another Dragon Dance off, though. Can Toad still take a hit? I'm pretty sure Terak can take a plus one hit that's not boosted. Dragon Darts is not a 2 KO at plus one. Uh... On Toad? Sorry, it's a 2 KO on Toad if it's plus 1. It's still a 2 KO plus 2. Okay. I think we have to take the damage on this, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, if they go for another Dragon Dance... Another Hopefully Dragon Dance. we don't get Code. Dang it. We're gonna die. That's pretty bad. Not the best showing to end the season for Clock Tower. Um, okay, so we can go Toad if we want. We can also try to take a hit with Terrakion, but it gets Psychic Fangs, right? So that probably kills us a plus one. Uh, Psychic Fangs. Psychic Fangs is a roll to kill the Terraxit. Do we go Toad and go for damage? Like, we don't have a choice here. We have to kill this thing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't... If we, But if Terak dies, then, like, we lose. And Terak also doesn't guarantee kill with the Rock Blast. Yeah. So we have to go Toad, then. I mean, I, I feel like it's either Toad or Terak, but I... I yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's Toad, because they always have the Rotom for Toad, and Terakion can just claim stuff, so... Um... Yeah. Not great. Not great. I mean, I have to just Earthquake. I don't think I have a choice here. Unless you want the poison from the jab. I don't think we last long enough. I think we have to Quake. Okay, okay, okay. Could be, it's probably a 2 KO here. It should be a 2 KO if we don't get Cursed Bodied. Well, we're not going to get two hits, though. 
What would suck though is if, well no, they, they have to expect that we did nothing. So this dies. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of, man. Like, this thing just wrecks our team if it's special, and then physical wrecks our team, too. <laughs> like, what do we freaking do against this? It beats our whole team. Um, I mean, Tarak can still take a hit. So unless they go for another D-Dance here, which would be terrifying. Uh, oh, we don't might, have a choice. They could DD. They're talking about it. They're going to click DD. If they think the track can take a hit. Yep. Come on, Toad. Crit. Come on, Toad. Crit. 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 <laughs> Don't make me regret not having investment. Come on, Toad. <laughs> oh, please, Toad. Please. Oh. Oh, we don't have any priority at all. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is that game? Probably. Dragon Darts is so broken. Dragapult is so broken. So, um, we can. I mean, we couldn't even like. I wanted to Haban this the Hydreigon, but I couldn't do that. Wouldn't even live. No, I think that's a game. Yeah. Well, hopefully, Dragon can take a hit. It can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> well. It was a fun season. It was a fun season. Dragapult is busted. We can all agree. Yeah, because they were able to run Adamant, which means they'll kill. If for some reason they have investment or they're jolly, then there might be one roll we live. <laughs> Let's get that roll. Not going to get that roll. <laughs> no. Well, it was a fun season. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. <laughs> this was not the way we wanted this game to go, but you know what? Sometimes that's I mean, how we, it rolls. We knew going into it that if Dragon Pull got a chance to set up, we were in trouble. Well, I mean, physical. Like, we, we went really all in on mixed or special Dragon Pull being the bring. I was hoping that they would not run this type of set. Um, and actually, the Culpa Bear was really clutch for them, too, staying outside yeah. of range of a 2 KO from Seismitoad. So, Better yeah. run a little bit of attack investment. I, yeah, I too should have run attack of this. We, we tried to do too much with Seismitoad, I think, and that's, that's unfortunate. That's how it goes. Man. It's a game you play sometimes, y'all. This could have been so good. This Hydreigon, man, if we just got it set up earlier. I'm guessing they didn't even have Ghost Stab for Gardevoir. That's probably why they just exploded on it. Yeah, they just need to kill it. And then just, that DD won't even do anything. I guess I'll Dragon Pulse. <laughs> They're not going to let you live. <laughs> you never know, man. This clicks happen. Go for psychic things. I don't know. <laughs> are they like milking this right now like what are they waiting for <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> this is just the dragapult showcase they used two three other months three other months they used three other months on for it can dragon nice. darts miss no it's 100 percent. ah that is a busted move yeah break sash breaks berries hits twice two chances to crit <laughs> well at least that was a low brain power kind of game <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I had a lot of fun this season, guys. And honestly, yeah, we kind of saw this coming, I think. But both of us really wanted it not to be the case. Yeah. And played if, like we had a chance. But, if uh, they weren't DD, I'm telling you, if they weren't DD, it would have been a lot better. But they brought a good set for uh, for finals, and I, I respect them for that, obviously. So, yeah, huge congrats to them for, for winning the league. And, again, make sure to go check out their site. I know it's not the most exciting of games for, for our end especially, but... Uh, you know, good prep on their end. So at the very least, check out their team builder and kind of see some of the thoughts that went behind the, the team that they brought. But uh, yeah, not a whole lot else to say on this game, I don't think. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching all season. We really do appreciate this. If we do get another chance to do this, I don't know if Jolton and I will do another one on Wi-Fi. Jolton's been uh, salty about that. I've been but, very uh, anti-Wi-Fi. We, if time. we do get another chance to do this, we may... Uh, <laughs> We may uh, jump in on showdown, kind of multi-battle league again, similar yeah. thing. Um, but this has been the TBL, the Team Battle League, the Washi Bear Ticks debut season, making finals, had taken names, beating the one seed, having a lot of fun doing it, uh, and Noctowl is a threat. <laughs> I think we proved, we definitely proved that Noctowl is a threat. We've shown that when when we put our heads together, Gardevoir can be like 
phenomenal as well. Like we already both thought Gardevoir was really good, but you put a, put us both together, it makes it even better, I think. So yeah, I think we had a lot of fun with the with the draft, especially Gardevoir knocked out. No surprise, the Hydreigon IMO was a little bit of a reach. Um, not that there were that many better options for the number four draft position. I would have loved to have the Dragapult. I digress. Um, <laughs> Hydreigon was kind of like the best <laughs> option we had, I guess. Maybe like a Mew could have been a good call too. I don't know. But um, yeah, I think overall the draft was solid, was especially pretty, considering. Pretty home Mew, right? What was that? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty home, but it still had a lot of like a lot of cool options, like all kinds of hazards and stuff. So it, uh, it had a lot it could do. But um, yeah. That's fair. It was a fun Wouldn't draft. Wouldn't have Dragapult in the end. No, I, n nothing would have. Like, I, I don't know. Honestly, like a DD pull, the only thing we could have possibly done. <laughs> I'm just thinking, right? Because they were even a cursed body set and they ended up disabling our earthquake. So even a fat seismitud wouldn't have beaten it. So, like, what could we have actually done is what I'm trying to figure out right now. What beats Dragon Dart spam? I mean, guard was the only thing if they didn't have cover. Yeah. And they could have easily had Shadow Force, too. I think it gets Shadow Force, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it does. Phantom Force or whatever it's called. Yeah, that one. So I, yeah, I, I'm not actually sure. I'm sure there's some kind of way we could have done it, but the fact that it can kind of bounce around Haban Berries with Dragon Darts and Focus Sashes and, like, all the the text that I would have otherwise wanted to run for it, and trust me, I thought about, like, all this stuff to try to beat it. I, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I was hopeful they'd be, like, a Life Orb set and maybe wear themselves down and then Toad could revenge it more easily. That's That was the, the hope behind it, but the fact that they had the Colbaberry made it very difficult for, I mean, this team especially had really no chance of beating it, obviously. Um, even if we brought something else though, like yeah, the only thing we could have maybe done was was Gardevoir, and even then I'm, we would need like a Kassid Berry and be all in, like this is our Dragon Ball response. So, I don't know, tough game, tough game. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, at the end of the season, you can't win every championship you make it, make it to, so that's why Jolt and I are going to have to make it to another one together. <laughs> um, but I had a lot of fun. I personally think that, yeah, this battle didn't go our way, but the last five or whatever did, <laughs> to be yeah. fair. Uh, and we really, I think, had a, I think the season was worth it. The The league was a lot of fun. Uh, very well-run league. I forget who started it. It just kind of happened. Yeah, under the radar started um, But thank you all again so much for watching this absolutely fantastic season absolutely fantastic league uh and congratulations to the winners uh six foot hacks leo and shuckle king of course as always we will uh bow our heads when we do lose um so great game thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys later on yep have a good one guys later <laughs>